everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. And when we found our Ford Maverick sitting on a dealership lot, it was just that. It was already ordered, it was dealer inventory. We were lucky enough to snag one at no markup. Shout out to Matt LaFontaine in Charlevoix, Michigan. But that means we weren't able to spec uh, a bed liner. For some reason, the dealer decided not to get a bed liner installed on the truck. So as you can see right here, it's just bare plain metal. We knew we wanted to do something about that. So I reached out to Linex, someone that I wanted to, you know, just kind of the leaders of, of, of spray and bed liners, and they weren't super interested in, in working with us on anything right now. So we're like, all right, well, you know, maybe we'll just, we'll just pay to get a Linex sprayed in at some point, but it's a little steep. So I was like, what other options are there? During my research, I found what's called a bed rug, kind of a, a, a fun name. And it's from this company that makes these, these kind of rubberized uh, plastic sort of liners that can drop into truck beds, either sprayed in ones, you know, ones that already have a spray in or drop in liner or uh, kind of bare like we have here. And I was like, you know what? This would be really cool to try out. So I reached out to them and they were like, sure, let's send you a bed rug and try it out here on the Maverick. So it's right here. It says impact mat. I don't think Bed Rug makes a full liner, uh, like kind of up the sides mat yet for the Maverick. I think they just have this liner one, but we're gonna open it up and see what it's like. So let's kind of pull it out right now. See, it was a good bit longer, longer than the bed in the box. And you can kind of see how we use the Maverick's bed on a daily basis. I usually keep this uh, bungee cord right there, kind of keep things in. And then I have made my two by sixes to sort of divide the bed off. And you can see there are actually quite a lot of sticks here from the last time we were doing some yard work. I'm gonna pull these out. I really like this flex bed and how you can kind of just slide these in and out of here. And you have two, two by sixes at your disposal also, should you wanna make a ramp or something. So I should probably, before I really permanently mount, the, uh, like install this, if you will, probably clean this out. You know, let's just, do this is a quick and easy way. Another cool thing about the Maverick, it's so easy to hop in and out of. There are probably so many people cringing. Oh, you're gonna scratch up your bed, oh no. It's like, dude, I don't care. It's a truck bed, it's made to be uh, it's scratched up. And the other thing, even when it comes time to do a spray and bed liner, they have to scratch the paint anyway to get it to adhere properly. So I'm not too concerned about that. This is something we're pushing off to later on, Charlie, to deal with. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Just stick it right on the bed here. For any of you who haven't seen before, we do have a Century CT cover on here from Truxedo. And that's pretty, pretty great because we just kind of roll it up out of the way when we want to do more serious truck stuff like this. I like doing sort of these raw first impressions uh, unboxing videos with you all mostly just because I want you to see everything as I see it. Ugh, get my thoughts. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's a mat. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Do we have any sort of instructions? Here we are. Bed mat installation instructions. Let's see. Nice little Ziploc bag. Uh oh, I see an, an adhesive. Oh, it's Velcro. That shouldn't be too bad. Less than 15 minutes, good, because I don't have a bunch of time. All right, we'll go over the installation in a minute, but we've definitely got a lot of Velcro here, Velcro strips. I want to take a look at the mat itself. I'm gonna unroll it and see what we're dealing with here. It's a, uh, I guess it's, I didn't really know what to expect in terms of the material, but it's, it's kind of neat. It's a little more rugged than I expected, a little more kind of durable feeling. I guess it's smart that they have it rolled this way so that once you get it down and flat, it'll sort of flatten itself down. I 
<laughs> so I'm actually flattening this down on the ground, kind of make it a little easier for it to sit down in the bed. And I do have to say, it's nice and squishy. Okay, all right. I'm liking it. it. Does seem to be cut pretty darn accurately. As I said, it's not the one that goes up the sides or anything, but it's gonna be nice is to have this. And then if you're getting in and out of stuff, it's 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 a little grippier. It's not as grippy as something like a a rubber, a straight up rubber mat is. So you could still kind of slide things in and out, I think. You can hear, there's kind of that, it makes me think of like a rock climbing gym, like tumbling mat sort of deal. And then this will adhere right here to the, uh, to the bed, and then I'll be able to close it and open it. We'll have a nice uh, smooth surface there. Okay, this is, this is gonna be neat. So I'm gonna clean out the inside of our bed a little bit more thoroughly. I'm actually gonna take it out with the water and, and rub it down a bit and clean it because if that's gonna be living in there, I don't want it to be living in uh, a dirty dirty metal. I'd rather it be nice and cleaned up. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna get that cleaned up and then we'll get this thing Velcroed in. Kinda of looking at stuff here, seeing how it's gonna go. So this will be, uh, be neat. Part of the bed rug instruction manual says that the metal should be above 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it's not above 68 degrees Fahrenheit in here, so I'm uh, just getting a little bit of heat gun action on this, just to kind of warm up the warm up the metal, at least to ambient, because outside it was about 40 degrees, and in here it's probably about 60. So this should at least get the surface of the metal up above 70, I'm hoping, at least kind of into there into their uh, heat requirements. Another thing that I'm kind of going a little bit off script for compared to uh, what Bedrock says is they actually say, bring the mat in here and then fold up kind of the side of it and lay down one side to, to figure out exactly where the adhesive should go down. I just measured from the mat where in the truck bed it should be laying and I'm laying the, the adhesive down first because especially in this smaller bed, it's really not easy to maneuver that mat when it's in here. So I'm thinking this will be easier. Just put this down and then put the mat all in at once. If it goes poorly, you all will know. I'm gonna pull this off pretty straightforward. Try not to get it stuck to you or anything else. Then got the scissors marking right where I'm supposed to start. Okay, try to keep it nice and straight right down the whatever you call this little vein of the truck bed okay good and secure press it down those look pretty even fortunately it's a very long velcro strip i know it's not technically velcro they don't call it that but come on we all know it is velcro then it should be as easy as laying the mat on that let me double check yeah, should be should be that simple. Let's let's find out. I do want to point out there are some little uh, imperfections in the cutting, if you will, as it came from the factory. So you might want to just kind of go through with your hands if you get one a bed mat yourself and pull those off if you're a little OCD, which I am not. So let's sneak this back through here again. Drum roll, moment of truth here. Thank goodness for the low sides in the Maverick. I will say I'm a bit disappointed that we're gonna lose access to these hooks, but you should be able to pull this out if I, if I need to get to those. Okay, this is actually gonna be kind of tough to lay this down and make sure it's lined up just right. I guess maybe that's why they said get it in first and then put the Velcro down, but I still think this is gonna be easier. How do I wanna do this? 
Okay. At the front. Alright, I hear it. it I hear it sticking to the Velcro. I'm gonna just, I'm lightly pushing down on it so I can get an idea that it's in the right spot before I really go to town and try to tighten it down fully. Yeah, look at that. That should be pretty lined up. Hopefully I'm not too far to the side here. Let's see compared to, no, actually it should be, should be really good. All right, I hear connection happening there too. Now I'm gonna really push it down. Look at that. Nice. I almost want to have something weighted that I can leave in here to properly connect that in. But I mean, it's not like it's going to go anywhere. I think just because the bed rug comes rolled out, it has a little bit of a, a desire to roll itself back up. But this is nice. I got my knees on here. Definitely. Uh, feels better to be back here and it, and it makes for a very flat surface whereas before you had the ridges These are not like ruffled ships. You don't want ridges Now this I guess is supposed to go right to the edge. So what I'm gonna do is I guess uh, let me Grab that velcro There are one two three four five six seven uh, number and I guess you're just supposed to go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That seems pretty reasonable. Again, look at this curve though. Maybe I'm sure rolling this backward in the opposite position just to get it to get its position a little bit here. It is fairly maneuverable once you kind of just get some get aggressive with it a little bit and sort of tell it where to go. No, let's go for it. I'm gonna just start with one here, make sure it's in the right spot. Yeah, see, I'm a little, actually a little too far forward. That one I'm gonna back a little. Now this is interesting. I, I guess I'll go like this. That's probably a smarter move. Yeah. Oh, I'm just realizing now that I forgot to heat this metal up beforehand. So let the record state that if I have issues with this bed rug staying down on the tailgate, it'll be my own fault that I didn't heat the metal up first. I'm, I'm already really excited about having this. It looks better too. Then let's find seven places to put it right along here. Do I dare put one right over that fastener? No, probably not. There we go. Seven pieces of adhesive here on the edge and seven up there. Let's fold her down. Whoa, look at this. Uh-oh. I just pulled a piece of adhesive right up off of the off there, but it seems to have stuck back down. Ugh. Nice, look at this. You know, for a few hundred dollars, I am really happy with how that looks. And that was actually a remarkably easy install. Sometimes when things say, oh, you should be able to do it in 15 minutes, I'm skeptical. But oh, this, this looks really quite nice. First close, 
probably, I don't know if I should be closing it right now, but yeah, look at that. Okay. Cool. I'm really happy with how this looks actually. I was a little nervous when I took it out of the box and I'm like, yeah, this, this kind of looks a little jank, but placed in here properly, I think it looks quite nice. I think I, I might try to pull a few of these off once the adhesive is, is really firmed up some more and, and been on there for a while and maybe try to get this a little more flush along the edge. I kind of wish I would have kept the adhesive strips a little bit further in. So keep that in mind if you're installing one on your own, it'll look a little cleaner that way. But overall, I'm pretty happy. And it's definitely accurate that being in here is much easier. If you're gonna use your truck bed for, I don't know, even just sitting in here. Can, can I lay down in the Maverick? Let's see. Oh, I totally could. Oh, wow, I could use this as a, you could straight up sleep on this. <laughs> it's really not, and I mean, it's, it's firm. But it's not hard the way uh, the way the metal is. So if you laid a little extra something down there, you could, you could use your Mav for a sleeper. That's pretty cool. Installation was pretty darn straightforward. You clean it, lay the two strips down right there on uh, right where they're supposed to go. You kind of measure it out and then lay these strips and you put it in. It really doesn't get too much easier than that. So I'm happy for that, ease of use. And I'm not quite as concerned about the sides of the truck as I was the base right here. So we'll check back in after a month or so of living with the bed rug and doing crap with it. I know tomorrow we've got to load up some, some more of these sort of sticks and, and some uh, kind of yard bricks and, and pavers and stuff. So it'll, it'll be cool to test it out that way. And I'm also looking forward to getting a motorcycle in the back here at some point and having this smoother surface for the tires of the bike to go on to. And yeah, it's just gonna, I, I think really think it's going to make it a nicer a nicer thing to have absolutely so thank you all so much for watching and if you want to see more on the maverick check the link in the description we got all sorts of videos and we'll see you on the next one i'm charlie from daily motor and as always drive on mm -hmm.